It is up everyone. This is Captain Eon speaking. K Sirs and S for those who want to keep it all official. But within the Forever family, you can just refer to me as your brother, Zun. And I do these talks in the hopes that you will be able to grow in your relationship with the Lord as I share about mine. And the idea for today is really focused on chapter 17 verse 13 and chapter 19 verse 20 and these are the parts in the treatment when it talks about hearing and fearing now I've come to understand that hearing and listening are two different things. From my understanding, hearing hearing is passive. Like, we even hear while we're sleeping. As long as you're not hard of hearing, as long as your auditory system is working properly, then you're able to hear. There's a lot of things that we hear that we don't really listen to. I know, you know, admittingly, that as I'm getting my treatment every day, I have to go through it many, many times because I'll find myself actually sort of zoning off, you know, spacing out. So the treatment is actually being heard by me but I'm not really picking anything up because I'm not actively listening and I've realized certain things that I have to be undivided in order to really have the information you know take a hold so there was a difference there about the hearing When it talked about hear and fear, that was something I took into account. Also, the fear, you know, it talks about a lot. God speaking to his people through his word about fearing him. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Hear, you know, hear and fear. And... My idea growing up as a kid, you know, a lot of times when they were talking about putting the fear of the Lord in you, they were talking about like actual fear, like I'm afraid. And there is, God is fearsome. And I've realized it's because he is so great. He is so mighty. In chapter 18, verse 16 of today's treatment, uh, he's referring back to when he was speaking to the people from the mountain. And it was terrible. The mountain was shaking and it was fire and it sounded like thunder. And, you know, mortal man can't handle such power. The almighty God. I don't even believe can truly be comprehended by us on this lower level that causes a fear you know the mountains bow down to him the sea runs away from him but then i also come to realize that fear really translate into a reverence Yes, the mountains, you know, flee and hide and these things in a fear. But I believe God said, okay, when I speak 
everything hears and it causes fear and trembling but God said but let me introduce you to my love and he made his love visible in the man the holy lamb the savior of the world and for me i was i'm able much better to <laughs> that didn't even sound like proper english but he gave me his love to listen to he had to robe his glory that that thunderous the thunderous part of him the, the glory of him he robed it in love and he allowed me now to be able to listen to him cuz he did say listen to my son it's in a, it's in a form now where you can you can you can listen to that it's hard to hear me cuz i'm so great so listen to my son and then you will know the awesomeness of me even in my whisper again i'm i'm just conveying like the conversation between my lord and i that he's saying to me listen to to my love and the more i do that i get to understand him not only how great he is but also a reverence comes from that an admiration for him comes from that a desire to want to be with him comes from that and so that's why the idea of hear and fear really is what i took away from today's treatment cap tion this sir